My name is Kirsten Potter. My play is called Rubicon, and I'm a playwright in the 2022 Colorado New Play Summit. My play is based on a true story about a woman named Betty Pack. She was a spy for both MI6 and the OSS during World War II. She uncovered unbelievable amounts of information. She was referred to at the time as having changed the course of the war. And I was given a little article about her to read, and I'd never heard of her. And I thought that was an, an injustice to this woman and what she accomplished, and I decided to try to fix it. It was all they could do for a bandage. What do you expect me to do, Betty? I'm not a doctor. I expect His Majesty's government to do something about I'm it. I'm sure they're doing all they can. Aren't you they? The central conundrum of the play, how do you be great at being a spy or whatever it is you do so well that you are a master of your craft and be a mother? Because I am a mother and a working professional and I fail continuously at all of them because I don't do any of them exclusively the way that, that Betty did. And because she did, she achieved so much. But because she sacrificed, she's been condemned. She's been written off as a slut and a whore. And we forget what she achieved because she had to put something else down. What are you going to rant about being female? Well, I suppose that gives you something to blame. You don't feel being a woman has held you back? I did. I am using the story of Betty Pack to tell a story that I feel compelled to tell, which is about this struggle that, that women are still subjected to. What should I do? Charge into Parliament and demand his release? Of course not. Betty has a speech. It's a speech about the experience of being pregnant. And I personally have been pregnant twice, and it's a very emotional time, and a lot comes up. But I've never heard anybody talk about the idea of this other person is coming, and they are going to take over my life, and they are already taking over my body. So Betty has a speech where she talks a little bit about this. The dark side, the thing that we're all ashamed and guilty for saying is that we, we, we love our kids, and that's, that's the company line. And I, even if it's true, it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't hurt a little to lose some of yourself in the process. And I'm, I feel guilty even saying that right now. Uh, the last I'm going to write the plays and try to gather the people and put us all in a room together so we can make work that I love. Being here is, is sort of the first step of that process. I met two women this week. One of them is a multi-hyphenate. She's an actress, she's a producer, she's starting a film company. She's like, what do you think about writing film? I was like, let's write some film. I mean, another woman is multi-hyphenate. She's here as a dramaturg, but she's also a director and she's a writer and we're gonna start building her anyway. It's just, it's fun to find other like-minded people. We're all in different companies, we're all on different projects, but we're in this space, which is such a nurturing space, a nurturing environment, and I'm not going to waste this opportunity. I'm so excited to be here.